Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Brian Hoops with Midwest Market Solutions bringing you our Market Insider TV closing commentary. Today's uh, Monday afternoon, January the 28th. Well, we do have a lot of news here, and uh, we'll look at some chart action. Um, of course, the USDA offices are reopening. That means we will have a supply and demand report. It's been kicked back one month. Um, really can't do anything about the January report except have it in February. So it's been announced February 8th. The USDA will, will report as scheduled that day, and if funding permits, the annual outlook form will occur on February 21 and 22nd. The February 8th crop report will include the final NAS production figures, stocks, and seeding data that was supposed to be released in January. We should also get weekly export sales by the end of this week, and possibly commitment of traders reports as well. We'll have a full slate of all the newsletters, a breakdown of the weekly export inspections that were, were released today, um, and how they compare to the USDA forecast, as well as the IGC, world grain production numbers, the projected carryouts for all of these reports in our daily newsletter that comes out every morning. So make sure you check that out, and uh, let's talk about what's happening from a technical standpoint. Soybean harvest in Brazil is about 10 to 12 percent complete. We did have a down day today but only a couple cents. This is a chart of uh, March soybeans. You can see this pink represents an inside bar as we had rallied up on Friday, tried to sell the market off and then came back. We had uh, mentioned in Friday that the upcoming Chinese delegation that is coming to the United States January 30th and 31st will provide support to the market despite weekend rainfall and a wetter forecast from Brazil. Now, also providing support to corn and soybeans, we'll flip to the corn chart here. Um, it's kind of the same pattern, not an inside day, but just fractionally lower here. Um, so providing support is going to be very cold temps this week, and uh, another round of snow in the upper Midwest. That's going to limit old crop grain movement and tighten basis levels. In fact, we noted that uh, basis levels for Council Bluffs, Iowa, improved two cents for corn. Uh, narrowed up two cents to about 20 cents under soybean basis is unchanged at 75 cents under the uh, corn market here in soybeans really not telling us a lot as far as technicals but if we can get a positive report I think we'll see some buying interest going into February 8th as uh, there's going to be so much uncertainty without any USDA report in January that we should be able to take out these highs and push up into this range up in here um, on the March corn as well as soybeans. I think we get a good shot to go back up into this area. We have not traded much above um, the 927, 928 area for March soybeans, but I think if we get a shot to get up in there, that's a great opportunity for producers to go ahead and make some sales. Um, a lot of questions about hedging new crop corn. We talked about this several weeks ago. December corn has only been four, above 405 and a half about four times since going back all the way to mid-October. Um, we're below it again. We should be able to get above this area, but quite honestly, the less time a market gives you to market in some certain area, that's the better that that marketing area is. And you can see we spent very little time above 410, uh, even last uh, fall or last summer. So we get up in this 405 to 410 area. That's a place where you should start making some new crop sales. Um, let's look quickly at the cattle market in here. You'll look at the February contract. It's our lead contract going with the cash market says. We noted this was real good support and we should not go below it. In fact, we started to see some strength in here. Despite lower cash trade, we saw market bounce as it is expected that the show list numbers would be down from last week, and they were 258,000 head versus 285 a week ago. Plus, these very, very cold temperatures expected to hit the plains middle of this week. That should offer some support. And um, there will not be cattle inventory report this Thursday as uh, the NAS staff just was not available to retrieve any data. So um, we're left to trade out these technicals in the cash market in here. I think technicals look strong holding this area. Pullbacks into this area should be uh, pretty well supported. But the opposite is true in this hog market. You can see February hogs here go off the board middle of February. Gap lower a couple days ago and extended losses in today's session. Certainly negative from a technical standpoint. We hope this helps you out. Um, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Midwest Markets, and uh, subscribe to our newsletters. Uh, we'll be back in the morning with our newsletter and our opening TV comments. This has been Brian Hoops. Have a great day.